so uh, the BT Awards came on. That's not why. That's why nobody don't watch the shit no more. And let me say this: I didn't. E- I didn't even know it was on. No, we were talking about it. I, no, we didn't know what day it was. Yeah, when it was on, it was like, oh, the BT Awards is on. Everybody, I saw people and, all over social media we like we didn't miss shit. Uh, so a BT Awards happened, and you know they did what they typically do. Well, actually, they did what they don't typically do. Uh, they gave some awards to make the stallion. Then they gave some awards to Little Nas X. Uh, they honored a few other artists. But uh, obviously, the biggest story that came out of the BT Wars was Little Nas X performance. And it wasn't really his performance of his song. It was the end where he kissed the brother at the end. And so you had a lot of people he react to it. He intentionally kissed the brother at the end, too. And you had a lot of people react to that. And you had him going on another Twitter rant. Not a Twitter rant, shall I say, a Twitter defense. Like the last time when he released a video and people have comments and he just start responding to everybody and uh really absorbing the attention that he getting. And what what this really led to, and the reason why you see in the title, I have featuring Choke No Joke and Kwame Brown, is those two dudes to me gave very necessary responses to what happened. And they gave it from different perspectives. We're gonna start with Kwame because he gave it to he gave it his perspective from a two dimensional perspective. What most people will react to immediately: Why is BET pushing this on black people? Why is black entertainment, black media, always forced to engulf everything? We have to represent everything. We can't just be black excellence. You can't just represent the artists for who they are and good music. It has to be about more every time. It becomes a situation where black people are always forced to be the catalyst for every movement, for everything that happens uh, culturally, can we say. You agree? I think they make black people the face of everything that's bad, everything that's negative, because they're using us to push this agenda, and they're just going along with it. So, yeah, you had your little Nas X on Twitter, you know, mocking people, saying that he is gonna be emasculating man all 2021 and all these comments he made and you have people responding to him but i'm gonna show this quick clip of kwame and what he had to say bg what the hell y'all got going on i just want to know every tv show now you know they got the same goddamn mo every show that's directed towards the black community there's a lot of penis talk there's a lot of penis showing. There's a lot of ass talk. There's a lot of ass showing. And there's a lot of... There's definitely a lot of fucking twerking. And, uh, and some killing. And a lot of push towards young kids being homosexual. Why is that BET and all the black television? Now please tell me. I got a question. Y'all not beyond reproach, are you? Can't nobody ask y'all a question? Why the fuck... I got to have my son watching three niggas kissing on the goddamn stage. Y'all don't promote teenage love between boy and girl the way you're promoting all this boy-boy group shit. Do you want the teenagers to meet and find happiness and love and harmony too? I, I don't know what the fuck going on at this point. Lil Nas X, you got to calm this shit down, brother. Nobody gives a fuck that you gay, sir. Well, you don't got to keep kissing and all this shit on stage, sir. You don't got to keep having your clothes halfway off your ass and your body open and being provocative like you are and kissing on the damn devil and, 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 and all these shoe promotion with blood in it, sir. That is not you just being about you being gay. You being a puppet. And everybody that like you, these kids might find that to be OK to do it because they like your dumb ass. You don't see me out here just kissing on a bunch of women and all behind them and acting like I'm just the baddest motherfucking macho man heterosexual. Why the fuck the behavior got to be changed? I told you I watch behavior and I noticed in Miami doing these sex prides and all this shit. They don't give indecent exposure to the homosexual community when they walk around with their penis out. Why is that? So heterosexuals now can wear a heterosexual pride shirt and just walk out with their penis hanging out, we would get arrested. I told y'all, y'all better stop letting these groups make you change the way you think about what you're actually seeing. It's bad behavior. The only thing we should talk about and watch is behavior. 
So as you can see with that, it's a typical, you know, why is this always on us? This doesn't make any sense. And when you look at BT, we all know that BT was once owned by a man named Robert Lewis Johnson. He was the original owner of the um, BT. He also owned the Bobcats before Michael Jordan. You know, I always thought that Michael Jordan was the first minority owner. Actually, Robert L. Johnson, the, the founder of BET was. Mm. He and his wife, Sheila Johnson. But another thing that comes from that is after you get through, obviously, BT was started by Robert L. Robert Lewis Johnson and Sheila Johnson. They sold it to Viacom CBS. And C Viacom CBS, they put Deborah L. Lee to run it. That black, it's a black woman. No, she's from North Carolina. I didn't know that. Yeah. So then you say, okay, so you got this black woman running BT and it's owned by Viacom. Viacom CBS, their CEO is Robert M. Baskin. I try to look up where he's from. He's American, but I try to look up the uh, lineage of his lineage and stuff. It went back to like a Russian and Indian. So I don't know where he's actually from. He's a Jew. No, he's not. From he's not? For I look, he's not. He's not a tiny hat. But <laughs> the person who runs BET's award shows, you know, the people, the person who actually is the product is the production manager for the award shows. And this right here caught me by surprise because I didn't expect this to be so blatant. Jesse Collins. If you don't know who Jesse Collins is, Jesse, Jesse Collins is the same guy that Jay-Z hired to do the Super Bowl show, halftime show. <laughs> he also did the Oscars. So this goes back to, you know people, you get things. Oh, this goes back to 106 in Park when they were talking about Beyonce's daughter hair being nappy <laughs> and the damn show got canceled. So Jay -Z, so they really do have connections at BET. They have connections at BET. Okay. Now we know with Jay-Z, obviously... Now, second person we're going to talk about, Choke No Joke. You know, Jay-Z has ties to a lot of places across the industry. Anything that includes black people in entertainment, especially in music, but even in uh, uh, other types of entertainment, Jay-Z has connections. So when you look at this, Jesse Collins is the production manager for the BET Awards. So he had to okay, not just okay, he had to be the person that actually made this a thing. The entire thing is him. <laughs> He's the guy. So then we get into the three-dimensional understanding. And with the three-dimensional understanding, we get to Meg the Stallion and Young Miami. There was a video that I saw, that a lot of people saw, obviously, of them kissing after the BET award show. Okay, now, <laughs> if you watch Choke No Joke, he made a comment about Meg Thee Stallion when she signed with Rock Nation. He said that when she signs with Rock Nation, she would come out as a lesbian at some point. Here's one of his clips from his most recent video about the Little Nas X situation. As y'all can see, I'm not outraged. I'm not upset by it. I'm used to it. There's a song on my album called Public Enemy about the same thing that you saw in the BET Hip Hop Awards. I mean, the BET Awards. Y'all seen it. If you got my album, you listen to the song Public Enemy. I told you, I already told you about this. So, I, like, for everybody that's hitting me up, I put that song on the album for that reason. So y'all can learn about the industry. I told y'all when Megan signed the Rock Nation that eventually she was gonna come out as a lesbian. I told y'all that. Y'all just see her kissing young Miami uh, from the City Girls last night. I told you once you get down with those people, it's all a gay, agenda it's all a gay movement i'm not going to keep telling y'all this over and over and then y'all say oh yo choke you said this was going to happen look for y'all that believe me now if you've seen that video as he said 
like I said, Kwame talk, talked about this thing from the obvious perspective. Why is this being pushed on, you know, black people and stuff? Choke let it be known. This is all of them in the industry. This is normal. At this point, if you're in the industry, you have to be bisexual. Yep. That's 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 what they 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 pushing that propaganda. Pretty much everybody gonna have to be you you gotta get down to lay down. Yeah. And <laughs> man, listen. When you look at these celebrities, I'm talking, not even celebrities, entertainers. That's what I'll call them. And we're not just talking about the uh, actors and the, you know, the artists. We're also talking about the politicians, the athletes. <laughs> We've seen the scandals come out about politicians. Yeah. Andrew Gilliam. <laughs> exactly. And Andrew Gilliam, after cheating on his wife with a white male prostitute and being passed out and maybe overdosed on drugs... He somehow got, being he's back in the media he had these people protecting him yeah like he was a, actually a good person and he was strong and standing up for who he is and it's like wait 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 wait, wait. He, first off he's an adulterer yeah and he's a gay man who's he's married gay. to a woman he's on down low dude isn't he, that he ain't no bisexual whatever happened to the song the down low song <laughs> like isn't that supposed to be a bad thing hell we could take it back to uh barack obama all the uh, accusations that came yeah, out of him about sleeping with men in Chicago and the church and they dying. Yeah, you had the black guy who accused him. He popped up dead. The white guy, he didn't kill him, but he went on, had a whole interview saying, yeah, I know him. We were lovers. So politicians, athletes, actors, it's, it's, all of them are part of this industry. Uh, um, we can even go into uh, your religious, your, your pastors. Yeah, a lot of Bishop them part Eddie of these, Long. Yeah, a lot of these people are part allegedly. of these. A lot of these people are part of these fraternities and stuff and groupings like like i may say go along it's all a bunch of groups interconnected you know but when you look at these people and the reason why they do the things they do you have to understand these people have different beliefs you will be <laughs> you will be surprised who these people are behind the scenes when people tell you in these award shows all the time you know uh, i want to thank god i'm sure little Nas x got up stage and you know, he thanked God. I'm pretty sure made the style and got on stage and said, I thank God. But who are they saying I thank God to when they're when they're doing these type of things? The word God just means power. So when they say God, they're not talking about the God you're talking about. They're talking about Baal. They're talking Bacchus, Pan, the mother goddess. And I know this sounds crazy. When you look this stuff up, just, just look this stuff up and pay attention to the pictures and the actions that some of these people take. And you'll see their beliefs are a lot of them are occultic. You know, it is what it is. So, you know, I just thought this right here was a situation where it's typical at this point nowadays. I'm not really shocked at what happened. We did a wonderful uh, video on Little Nas. Yeah, go back and watch our video on Little Nas X when he first released his song Montero in the video. We did an entire breakdown of that video and the real understanding of what he was doing and who he truly was talking about in that video. So shout out to Kwame and Choke No Joke. Uh, I just wanted to go in on this a little bit to point out as much as I, you know, we could talk about it from the black perspective, how it's always us first. As you know, Choke No Joke said, this is an industry thing. It ain't just the black actors and athletes. It's the white ones that spend all of them. It's everybody. Terry Crews came out talking about that man grabbed him. By exactly. The, Why by would the, some <laughs> random producer grab your junk? Yeah. And but you, you know, did nothing about it. Get ready. This is what this is the agenda that's being pushed in. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to get down and lay down, or you're gonna have to you're gonna have to stand your ground. Yeah. You're yeah. gonna have to go through some type of uh what's the word I'm looking for? Persecution. <laughs> you're gonna have to go through something to get out of here. Yeah. So, you know, and then keeping up with Choke No Joke. Remember he had a video about Lala. If you saw that video of Ooh, Choke No la, Joke la, la. talking about Lala, that video has 476,000 views. It should easily have 2 million views. Just like, no just question. Like, just like The Breakfast Club, Choke was about to hit a million views and they, they deleted cut the video. that shit off. Yes, that's a fact. Choke No Joke had an interview on, on The Breakfast Club. It was about to hit a million and they deleted it. That's the same interview that he said that Charlemagne showed him the picture the text, of the, the text message CEO. of the CEO saying he want to suck his junk. Disgusting. Keep it, now this is all interconnected. But people. you know what? 
Charlemagne been having uh the 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 dolls behind him. I don't know how people didn't yeah, notice that we, shit. I'm surprised that's new. We we noticed that like four I said, years ago. What the ago. fuck is going on with the dolls behind yeah. him? And the do- it's not a white doll. It's actually a literal doll of DJ Envy and, and Charlemagne. Sometimes it be a are, sometimes it be a girl doll though. But the, a lot most of the time is DJ Envy and Charlemagne actual dolls. That and Charlemagne be bent over or DJ Envy be bent over yeah. with the dolls. And then he has the the gay flag it's, uh, it's, right next to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's all connected, man. Choke No Joke had a rant where he was like, "Why can't I just be a producer? Why I gotta be gay? I just want to work. Why can't I? You why can't I gotta work. be gay? You can't work unless you're able to do something. So this, platforms like this will never, ever. Get, oh, we'll never, we'll never no. get that level. Ever. And don't want to hit that level. Yeah, I don't want to be famous. So <laughs> don't expect. <laughs> I don't want to be famous. I just want to get on here and talk shit. <laughs> this is just fun. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, we when you get to those levels, you gotta do something strange. You gotta do something to stay strange. In them levels. You gotta do something strange for that change. But yeah, man. If you're not willing to do something strange, you gotta be willing to cut somebody off. Yeah. You gotta have a spade. Look that up, people. But uh yeah, man. Shout out to them. I'm like I'm not surprised by the little Nas X thing. They're using him at this point. Um as a lightning rod for what they're really trying to do and black people should be should be in an uproar yeah and make the stallion once and i agree with choke no joke she's clearly been uh used as a pawn by jay-z and people way higher than jay-z the bet war should be boycotted it should be no more after this performance well, nobody didn't watch it no how so but yeah. they probably allow this so they can get some traction for the views but anyway uh but anyway man if you watch this video please like it comment and subscribe we appreciate the support and um uh, all praise to the most high, the real most high. <laughs> Not Bill. Not Bill. And uh peace, man.